Roderick, that Chantry fellow who led us through the mountain from Haven. You know he died, I assume. Got us as far as the camp and then... that was it. I'm shocked he helped us instead of running off. I imagine being attacked by something undeniably evil changes one's perspective a bit. I helped him walk. He... talked about you quite a bit. He just needed to be sure you were on Draste's Chosen. He was terrified of what it meant, if it were true. But in the end, he believed. He asked me to tell you he was sorry. Thank you for telling me about that. I thought it was important. Anyway, we can talk about something else if you'd rather. There must be some reason you haven't left. You can't want to stay. Why? I have to be fond of you to agree with what you're doing. I do think you blunder about, Inquisitor, thrashing like a caged dragon at everything that displeases you. I still believe Corypheus needs to be stopped, and that I need to be here to help stop him. Oh, you think you'd be such an immense help against Corypheus? If you'd let me, yes. I have every reason to put my life on the line here. Corypheus is... was a magister. He represents everything dark and terrible in my country. I have to help. Even if it means I stand on the sidelines watching, I'll do it. I need to know he's defeated. If that's meaningless to you, then tell me to go and I will. No, I'm not asking you to leave. Excellent. Then let's not belabor it further. Yes? Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the Circle? After the Circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the Circle would be in your debt. <laughs> 